Hello, this video is getting an instructor started by creating the Code Academy teacher account and then populating it with your students' information. Okay, let's go to codeacademy.com and register as a teacher. I've already uh, signed up as a teacher on the free account, not the pro, and so I'm going to show you what it looks like now as I sign in. Okay, here um, on the upper right hand side where you see my picture, click on that. You'll have an icon there. Select Teaching Resources. If for some reason you can't find the Teaching Resources page, you're going to scroll to the bottom, find Schools under Resources, and it will take you to the Teaching Resources page. Do not upgrade to Pro. The free edition of Code Academy for Teachers is all you need. So when I selected my uh, icon in the upper right hand corner, and selected Teaching Resources and came to this page. Now I scroll down to where it says Classroom Tracking. Here it says Create Accounts for your pupils and track their individual performance. That's what we want to do. Select Classroom Tracking. You can see here that I have uh, already made some classes and I have 39 pupils in one and 42 pupils in the other. And these dashboards um, are a great way for me to find my, all of my students. I have all of my students listed, their user IDs, their username that Code Academy has identified for them, and also how much they have completed of the courses. So let, I'm going to show you how to do this, how to create your own class. So let's, here we are creating a class. Click create a class. Here, when we, on the class information, we're going to um, specify, whoop, sorry, whew, what did I do? We're going to specify CIS 101 and then we're going to put the CRN of our, of our course. In this case, I'm going to use uh, CRN 71812, 71812, and then I'm going to put when it meets, which is Wednesdays, 1.20 p.m. to 3.20 p.m. That'll be all part of the class name. Our default password for all of us adjuncts who are teaching, all of us who are teaching the CIS 101 course will be CIS 101. Class description. If we go to the Pace University schedule, you can find, if you put in the Schedule Explorer, the information about Fall Undergraduate Computer Information Systems 101 and do search, you will then have an ability to go to the right hand side, select more info, find the description of the course, highlight it, copy it, and then put it in your class description. We're all selecting year group 13. Class units. We're only going to have one unit, and that you pull select from the unit name, select here, and you see the list. We're looking for HTML and CSS. I don't know why it's blinking on me. <laughs> HTML and CSS. And here, if you wanted to see the course overview, it shows you about how long each lesson is going to take. Now we're going to go down to Pupil Accounts. Scroll down. See where right here 
you can copy and paste data from Excel into this table. The way we do that to get our roster listed here is we down we go to Blackberry, I mean Blackboard to um, where we have our course. Here is my 71812 course. I scroll down to course management, then to grade center, and then to full grade center. Select full grade center. Now I see the roster of my students. I go to the far right where it says work offline. I select download. Once I get to download, I then go, I then select user information only, scroll down, select comma as my delimiter type, and then I select submit. Now the data has been saved to a file, and to download the file, I click download. It gives me a long file name. I'm going to change that file name. I'm going to shrink it down so it's smaller and I won't have a problem with it. I hit save. It's now on my desktop and I can open it up. When I open it up, I'll see that I've got last name, first name, username, student ID. What I'll do now is select first names all the first names, copy, go to classroom tracking where it says first name, put my mouse here, right click, select paste or control V. Now this one, oh, I made a mistake. I left first name here. I don't need first name. Okay, now we have all of the first names. For the last names, we have, if we're going to select them also, but when we do that, we have the problem of, of, if we, well, we're going, we're going to do something different. I've got the last names copied. I'm going to put them here, paste. But now I'm going to change something. We are going to use the last name column for the student ID number. So what we're going to take, do is we're going to move these last names to the first name column, so it will contain both first name and last name. There's a reason for this, so just trust me that that's the, what we should do. So here I'm selecting Control X, selecting space Control V to make sure that I've got all of, of the um, students' first names and last names in the the first name column. So it's going to contain both first names and last names. Now I return to my spreadsheet that I downloaded from Blackboard and I select now the usernames. I'm going to put the usernames in instead of last name. So I'm right clicking, copy, and then right here, paste. And here are all the usernames of all of my students. My PACE username. This will be important later. Now on the right hand side you'll see that there's a username that Code Academy will give each student. We're going to leave this empty and allow Code Academy to create the usernames. So we have completed this part. Now we're going to go to the top where it says save class in the classroom tracker click save class 
Now it says your new students are currently being added, which can take a few minutes. Please check the class later. I, um, and you see that we have the title of the class. We can edit it. We have our description and it's just um, started. So we'll wait a few minutes and return. In about five minutes or less, it will have completely populated this table. And see this first student? He already has his username. It's Chipsolve or something. Okay, I've been waiting for it to populate and I realized I should hit the refresh button. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna refresh the page and sure enough, all of my students are now listed. First name, last name in the first name column. In the last name column is their PACE ID and they each have a username that Course uh, Code Academy has given them. To find out what these names are so that I can distribute them to the students, I'm going to download this table right here on the right hand side. See where it says download table? When I click that, it's going to give me a file named Overview. I'm going to name it uh, 71812 Usernames. Whoops. So I remember that these are the Code Academy usernames. And when I open up the spreadsheet, here it is the names of my students, their PACE ID, so I can make an easy email later, and the Code Academy usernames that they've been assigned by the system. So now I'm ready to go with my students. I wanted to show you what it looks like on my Code Academy. Right now I can easily see how far along each one of these students is, when they last updated, where they're at right now in the current course, which is the HTML and CSS, and how much they have completed. This allows me to track how far their, they, their progress is going and also grade them. I also have my number of pupils, my year group, and it shows me an overall percentage for my class completion. And this concludes the introduction to making, creating a class in Code Academy as an instructor.